Happy Camper Radio, episode 39. Come on, let's go camping. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Happy Camper Radio Show, the only place you need to be when you're ready to talk camping. Ah, camping is what we're about. Camping is all we talk about here on the show. This is our very special Happy Camper Christmas edition, and I hope each and every one of you are getting into the camping spirit right about now, as well as the festive season, because it's a great special time of year for me and for a lot of you and your loved ones to get together and kind of put everything aside, all of our troubles in life, all of the negative things that we come across each and every day. You know, it's time to put that on the back burner for a moment and think about what's really important in our lives. And there is nothing more important today than family. Our phone number here at the Happy Camper Radio Show is 404-537-CAMP. You can give us a call anytime with your camping questions, your comments, your concerns, anything like that. We love hearing from our listeners. Just leave your voicemail with your name, your contact information, uh, where you're calling from especially. That's important to us because we'd like to know what part of the world you live in and where we're reaching out to you at. And uh, we'll get you on an upcoming episode on one of our shows here. Also, you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at Camp Talker, and add us to your circles on Google+. Every one of our social media sites can be accessed right there on our homepage, which is www dot happy camper radio dot com and make sure you click on our rss feed so you can subscribe to the show and uh, never miss a single episode of the happy camper radio show let's take time right now to light our campfire get all of our guests together and gather around this is a great episode folks because we're going to be talking about some of those last minute gift ideas some of the ones that you may haven't reached out to yet and go ahead and grab them up this week. There's only a few days of the shopping season left this year. So you might want to go ahead to the store today if you have some time and pick up some of these last minute items. We're going to give you an idea of what you may want to consider for the camper in your life. I know I've got quite a few of them. Uh, The most important ones are taken care of. And of course, that's my two daughters. And I'm looking forward to seeing them on Christmas Day. I have a couple folks uh, I want to say hi to out there. Uh, Some of the ones who reached out to us this week on Google+. Brian Mullins in Woodstock, Georgia. He's not very far away from our studios here at Happy Camper Radio. Also to RV Swap Shop in Somerville, Florida. And we also want to say hello to Angelo Chain from Chester in the United Kingdom. Thank you also very much for reaching out here out to us here at the Happy Camper Radio Show and being listeners of our program. Saturday, the yes, today is the first day of winter. How is winter in your part of the neighborhood? Right now we're looking at rain. In our featured campground of the week, and I'm going to be talking about uh, at the end of the show here, they're experiencing a lot of rain, but it's also a very wintry place to visit if you're into camping this time of the year. And we'll be talking about that here in just a little bit. What do you have planned for Christmas Eve? This is uh, something I'm really excited about. It's something I do traditionally every year. Now, I've explained to you that I've never gone camping during the holidays like Thanksgiving or Christmas, even though I would like to give that a try someday. But usually this time of the year, I have a tradition that really draws me into the festive spirit. How do you celebrate that with you and the members of your family? Now, for myself, I wind down Christmas on Christmas Eve day. I don't work that day. I try not to, and I try not to work anymore on Christmas Day because that's the time you want to spend with your family and your loved ones. My afternoon will start off by sitting at home and just relaxing. I'm not going to be doing any chores. I'm not going to be hanging out in the studio or doing any work out there in the garage. But later on in the evening, I like to prepare myself for midnight church service. I am quite active in my local church, I'm very proud to say. 
And being the kind of a guy that I am, who spends time here in the studio, punching buttons, twisting knobs, and running sliders up and down, and making all kind of the magical things happen, I like to do that at church as well, because I'm one of the sound technicians there. And I run the soundboard at midnight mass on Christmas. It's something I really enjoy doing. I enjoy the fellowship with a lot of the fellow parishioners who happen to come there for the midnight service. Also members of the choir. I love setting up the microphones for them and getting everything just right for that special midnight mass that they have each and every year. It's something that I enjoy doing. It's almost as exciting as it is to me going into the garage and preparing to get everything together and take out there on a weekend camping trip. But that's how my Midnight Mass uh, event is going to start, and I'm going to have a great opportunity to get out there and shake some hands with folks and uh, and fellowship a little bit. And a little bit later on, I like to venture on out and grab a bite to eat. And to me, folks, you know, if you're going to be going out this time of year and you're going to be spending time with your family away from home say if you're going out for a uh, short breakfast maybe you're having christmas dinner somewhere and you're not going to be doing it in a traditional setting say with your uh, your family and loved ones at home around a dinner table if you're going to be going out i please uh, highly encourage each and every one of you to make sure that you in some way shape or form take care of the people who are taking care of you Make sure you add a little something in there extra for your server because him or her most likely don't want to be where they are this time of the year. They may have to because of the line of work that they're in. They probably know that this time of the year because they are in the food service business that they may have to work Christmas Eve. They may have to work Christmas Day and they may not have the opportunity to spend that time with their family and loved ones. I remember I've had to work some days like that over the years. It's not a pleasant thing to do. Sometimes you have to do it out of necessity. Sometimes in order to buy those extra gifts for your kids, you may have to pull some of those extra hours. And maybe that's what some of these folks are doing. So if they're out there taking care of you, by all means, folks, you know, reach into your pocket, be generous, and take care of the folks who are not as fortunate as you are who get to go home and spend time with your family and loved ones this Christmas. I just wanted to go ahead and throw that out there. But that's how I go ahead and and start that day off. And, you know, and naturally, I am a very big tipper. I always have been. I usually get home Christmas morning about 2 a.m. It's not like it was back in the day, say maybe 20, 25 years ago, when the, the kids were very young and they were very excited about Christmas. They were home snuggled up in the bed about that time of night, and you probably had to get a jump on them because you knew very well that they were going to be up, jumping around and dying for you to wake up and get you down there around the tree so you could watch them open their gifts. Today, you know, as you get a little bit older, you realize your kids are out there, they've got their own life to live, and you come home to a quiet, empty house. Now, I do have pets here at the house, and I love coming on home because they are always delighted to see me. I don't care if it's coming home from work. I don't care if it's coming home from a, uh, a morning breakfast like I just got home from. They will be just as excited to see me when I show up at the house around 2 a.m. this coming Wednesday morning. When I get to the house, I'll light everything up because I, by that time, I will be in the full holiday spirit. I'll have the tree lit. I will have other Christmas lights around the house all lit up. I will sit down with a cup of hot apple cider, maybe a cup of eggnog, maybe a cup of that hot chocolate with a blast of whipped cream on top of it. Kind of like what you can enjoy right now as we sit around this campfire. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, and that's how I will go ahead and begin my relaxation mode right there on the sofa. To wind Christmas Eve off for me, just before I get into Christmas Day. And I don't know what kind of music you enjoy. I don't know what kind of uh, music that brings you into the holiday spirit. 
but I picked up on this one here about three years ago when I came home from working the midnight mass at church and just got finished eating. I sat down on the sofa, I turned on the TV and I went through the guide and I come across this Christmas special on our local public TV channel here where I live. And it was the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Have you ever heard the Trans-Siberian Orchestra's music before? It is absolutely awesome. I have never seen them in concert. I hope to someday. I have been trying over the past few years to get tickets, but for some reason, I'm just not quick enough. They do come into town and do one big show and they are gone all the way into some other city, some other town. And they put on one spectacular concert with lights, with all kind of special effects. But they have this one episode that I enjoy watching. And I've made it a tradition for the past few years. And I lay there on the sofa with all the Christmas lights just to add the final touches. The episode that they have is called The Ghosts of Christmas Eve. And if you haven't had an opportunity to get that DVD while you're out there today getting your last minute holiday shopping done, you may want to stop by the, the music aisle in your store and see if they have that available. If by chance you have one of those fancy flat panel TVs like I have, that's got all the internet connections and everything available to it, you can check it out on the YouTube channel because they do have it there. I was just watching it the other day. And you can go ahead and click on there, just find the Trans-Siberian Orchestra and look for the one chapter called The Ghosts of Christmas Eve. It will really draw you into the holiday spirit. But that's how I go ahead and get my Christmas all pumped up and all excited. And it brings me a lot of warmth and relaxation into my life, preparing for Christmas Day. Our phone number here again is 404-537-CAMP. And before I go on, I want to remind you all once again about our brand new forum that we have. It is the Family Camping and Adventure Forum. And you can find information on it right there on our homepage at www.happycamperradio.com. It is a forum for campers of all walks of life, young and old. If you're into the camping spirit, this is a great forum that you may want to join. We've got it online. We've got it set up and it's brand new. If you want to go ahead and sign up and join it, it doesn't cost a thing. Jump in on any one of the conversation. We've already had a couple members uh, sign up already. Just go ahead and jump in there. Enjoy the conversation. If you want to talk about something in the world of camping, add a new topic. You're free to do that any time of the day or night. If you want to talk about camping, it is a great place to be. And it's something we've got set up here at the Happy Camper Radio Show for you to join. It is the Family Camping and Adventure forum and i am your campground host your camp coordinator i go by the screen name camp talker you can't beat that you'll find me online and as soon as we get a bunch of folks signed up and participating maybe we can get together for a live chat sometime in the fireside chat room and you can find that also on the page just click on the link right there on our homepage, www.happycamperradio.com for the family camping and adventure forum now, if you haven't gotten your Christmas shopping done, it's uh, just a few days away. You can go ahead and knock that out right now. As far as getting some great deals online, there's still a few out there. But if you plan on getting those items delivered to you by Christmas Eve, just in time for you to wrap them and put them under the tree, I think you may be a little out of luck. I was checking my emails here just a little bit ago, and I can still see where there are some bargains available out there along with free shipping. You can free, feel free to go ahead to some of the big box stores, some of the stores that are that have names synonymous with camping, and you can find some really great deals. But if you're gonna be shopping locally, some of the things that are available out there in the store, you can go ahead and get right now, avoid the last minute rush, and uh, just remember, it's the thought that counts, not how much money that you're going to be spending on each individual. Don't stress yourself out. Allow time to wrap these gifts and have them ready for Christmas. You've still got a few days to do that. If you've gotten most of your shopping done, that's fantastic. But if you're looking for some stocking stuffers and a few extra added gifts, maybe you have somebody at work who is into camping just like you are and you wanna brighten their day. 
maybe the day before Christmas, before you go in there and wind down the day, you can pass a nice little gift on to them. It'll really brighten their day. All right, but let's talk a little bit about uh, some of these Christmas gift ideas that uh, you can go ahead and consider for that special camper in your life. I was uh, in the store the other day just looking down the aisle, and for some reason, every time I go to the store, I don't care if I'm there to buy a loaf of bread. I'm, I don't care if I'm there to uh, get some oil to change the oil in my car or maybe picking up a few other items that I may need. For some reason, every time I go in that store, I am carefully drawn to the camping supply aisle each and every time, whether I buy something in that aisle or not. And I went there the other day thinking, well, you know, I've got the show coming up here this weekend. Let me take a look at some possible gift ideas for some of our listeners in the event they have not reached out and bought what they wanted for their loved ones. And they want to go ahead and maybe toss a couple extra items in the stocking or maybe have a couple extra added gifts there for under the tree. But here's a great stocking stuffer you may want to consider. And it's only going to cost you a few bucks. And I saw this uh, hanging on one of the shelves there. A keychain with a small lantern attached to it. How cool is that? That is something, you know, hey, we all carry our keychains. Why not give them something that's going to remind them about camping every time they reach over and grab those set of keys. They are so cool looking. I tell you what, I I wanted to get one myself, but I didn't because you know, I've, I've got to watch myself every time I walk into those stores. I can spend a fortune down there. And right now I've got a lot of things in my camping supply box that I know I've got two or three or four or five more than what I need. Because sometimes I get in there and I get so excited and I say, wow, I could use this and don't realize until I get home that I have already bought that item. Tent stakes, I've got a ton of those. All right, I'm not saying go out and buy some tent stakes for uh, for the uh, the Christmas stocking, but the, the, you know, the thought would be all right, but I think it would kind of look a little odd if your loved one reached inside that stocking on the mantle and pulled out a bunch of tent stakes. I don't think that would look too good. Flashlights. Think about some flashlights. Does your loved one have flashlights when they go camping? They don't have to be a big monstrous flashlight. It could be maybe a small one that takes a a couple C-sized batteries, C-cell batteries. How about some of those ones that wrap around your head? I was talking about that uh, about a week or so ago. That's something I'm hoping, because I've already hinted to my kids when they said, Dad, what do you want for Christmas? I just kind of threw that one out there. I would love to have one of those lights that kind of mount right there on your forehead that has a band that goes all the way around it. Because at nighttime, yes, from time to time, I do venture away from the campsite. And I may not want to carry a flashlight in my hand. If I want to walk away hands-free, if I want to just, you know, maybe take a little stroll somewhere and see where I'm going, I've got this little flashlight right here at the top of my head. Just turn that little switch on, and everywhere I turn my head, that light goes. And it brightens the thing up for you. It brightens everything up for you, for that matter. That's a neat little gift idea. Also, if you're going to be buying your family and loved one flashlights this time of the year, don't forget to include the batteries. Toss a little extra pack of batteries in the stocking there. They'll know exactly what that's for. Maybe some fishing supplies, some fishing tackle. Think about that as well. If you have a fisherman in your life or a fishing girl in your life, if they enjoy fishing, hey, consider maybe getting some tackle and some few things that they can toss in their tackle box there when they decide to go fishing. How about some waterproof ponchos? From time to time, we go out there camping, and yes, the rain comes down when we least expect it. You want to stay stay dry. You want to make sure all of your items at your campsite stay dry, but that's another matter. But make sure you take care of yourself first and foremost. Some of these waterproof ponchos come in a little package you can hold right in your hand, and you can open them up, and it's just a full-sized raincoat that they put on. They may never have to use it, but it's always good to have them at hand. Speaking of hand, how about hand warmers? Hand warmers come in good this time of the year if you're out and about. You just never know when the temperatures are going to be a little too cold for you and your family. So think about some maybe some hand warmers to put there in their Christmas stocking. Now, if you're looking for some great gift ideas for under the tree... You know, we can always use some nice wool socks this time of year. Get them some wool socks. You never know, probably the Christmas night, they may be relaxed right after dinner. 
sitting in front of this fire singing some Christmas carols and they may have those Christmas socks on. How about some gloves and some scarves? Yes, they always come in real handy this time of the year. And again, it's not how much money you spend, it's the thought that counts. How about camping chairs? You can never go too wrong with those. Now, if you're carrying a lot of weight like myself, you probably want to want to go with a heavy duty size camping chair. And of course, with those, you're talking the the structure of it is going to be a little more secure and you're probably going to spend a little bit more money. But, you know, camping chairs, you can get them them these days for maybe nine or ten bucks. Maybe your family needs a new uh, sleeping bag, maybe a single, a double or maybe one of those mummy size bags. Think about that as a possible gift item for under the tree this Christmas. Water bottles and thermoses also are great gift items. When you're thinking about buying a loved one something special, something a little bit different, something that you know that they can use, something that will go a very long way, that will be used over and over again, maybe over the course of two or three years. Waters, bottles, and the thermoses. And they come in all kind of crazy uh, designs and sizes. And, you know, think about that, too. On those cold winter camping trips. Now, I'm not trying to be funny here, but these come in handy also. Think about a set of long johns. I have a pair. I have a couple pair. And when I'm venturing out into the wintertime for my wintertime camping trips, or even my fall trips for that matter, because it gets a little bit on the chilly side at nighttime, you can never go wrong by having a pair of long johns tossed into your your bag there. Here's something the kids may like at Christmas time. Consider this, some two-way radios. They don't cost a whole lot of money either, maybe 14, 15 bucks. You can get a pair of the uh, two-way radios that have the family frequencies in them. They have a distance of maybe about a half a mile depending upon your terrain and and what have you. But kids love those. Of course, you know, make sure you buy the batteries for them as well, because once they break them out of the package, they're going to want to put them to use right away. You might also consider a handheld weather alert radio. You can't go wrong with those either. But those are a few gift ideas that you may want to consider for under the Christmas tree, as well as some stocking stuffers this time of year. If you still have a few gifts you need to buy for the camper in your life, consider some of these gifts here. You can go in and buy them. They're probably still in stock on the shelf. I don't think you're gonna have too many people this time of the year. At least the non-campers will not be targeting these items to gift out, to give out as gifts for in the stocking or for under the tree. So you may wanna go ahead and consider some of these items if you wanna go ahead and um, brighten the day of your loved one on Christmas. Think of some of these items or maybe some of the other ones that are available on your list. And you can't go wrong, folks, when it comes to camping. Camping is a family environment uh, type activity. I enjoyed camping with my family each and every opportunity that I could. And I encourage you to do the same. Camping doesn't cost a whole lot of money to get involved in, whether you're just getting started or even if you're uh, a seasoned camper like myself, you're always going to be out there looking for some new ideas, some new gifts, and any one of the camping supplies that I have bought myself, I take good care of, and it lasts me for a very long time. It's not going to be one of those items that you can put up on the shelf and forget about. You know, the, you know I, I think about over the years, the number of things that I have received, even some of the things that I have given away as gifts. You don't want to go ahead and uh, buy something for somebody that they're going to end up putting on a shelf somewhere and forgetting about camping supplies. That's a totally different matter. You know, if your kids take care of your camping supplies like uh, you do, then it's going to last you a very long time. And something else you know you might want to consider also, does your kids have a knapsack or maybe a, a backpack? where you can put uh, your your regular clothes in, you know, because everybody, when they go camping, they're going to want to take along a change of clothes and they're going to ha- want to have something to put that in. So you might want to consider a, a maybe a knapsack or a backpack or something. Uh, another great gift idea for under the tree. On Christmas Day, hey, don't forget, folks, you know, you want your safety indoors is just as important, if not more, than it is around the campfire. Take time uh, to be careful with those space heaters and fireplaces inside the home. Young kids, they cannot wait 
to grab a hold of those gifts under the tree and those uh, that wrapping paper it goes all over the place if you have a space heater nearby if you've got the fireplace lit at five o'clock in the morning when these kids get up and a lot of times they're up earlier than that because they're real excited about santa claus getting there please be careful watch your kids and watch where they throw that wrapping paper you know you don't need any accidents to happen if you're burning in the fireplace remember never burn pine logs it builds up creosote in inside the uh, the chimney flue which also creates a fire hazard and if you're going to be burning inside your fireplace remember to have your fireplace inspected each and every year it's time now for our featured campground of the week right here on the happy camper radio show This week, I'm going to take you to some place that is bitterly cold, depending upon what time of the year and what time of the month you get there. And I'm very familiar with this because I lived up in this region many years ago. We're going to take you up to Bradford, Pennsylvania, to the Willow Bay Campground. And it is our featured campground of the week, and you can find it right under the featured campground tab there on our homepage. If you're looking for a great wintertime environment where maybe you don't want to go camping in a tent, they also have cabin rentals there as well. Not too many of them, but if you want to go ahead and look for the possibility of renting one of their 10 by 12 cabins they contain double beds a set of bunk beds with mattresses to sleep on Uh, they hold from four to six guests in each cabin they do have electricity and heat however there's no running water and no kitchens or bathrooms inside which means for those activities you need to step outside of the cabin you need to step away and uh, do your cooking maybe perhaps on the outside maybe they've got some tables on the inside where if you want to go ahead and bring your your little stove and and kind of you know do do whatever you need to do to prepare your meals uh this is a great place to visit it's up in the kinzua area it's right there on the new york pennsylvania border in the summertime in the springtime when the leaves are on the trees it is absolutely beautiful you really really would want to enjoy this type of uh camping environment more so in the spring and summer activities, but this is a year-round camping destination. And if you wanna go to their homepage, and like I said, you can find it right there when you click on the featured campground tab, a visitor to that particular area snapped a photograph of what it is like to camp out in the winter time, and it'll give you the chills just looking at it. But maybe you're into that type of camping, and it's a great place to visit. It's in Bradford, Pennsylvania, about six miles away from the city of Bradford. It is the Will Bay Campground, and it is our featured campground of the week right here on the Happy Camper Radio Show. And as always, my friends, if you have a campground that you would like for us to feature on the program, all you have to do is drop me an email, skip, S-K-I-P, at happycamperradio.com. Make sure you tell us all you can about the campsite and include a link to the campground's website if at all possible so we can feature that right there under the featured campground tab on our homepage. well folks it's been a great season so far i cannot believe we are at week 39 we've had a great run with this show so far and i appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time out of your day every week to tune into the happy camper radio show it really brightens my day and brightens my spirit to have you all along and uh, to, from all of us here at the happy camper radio show to each and every one of you we wish you all a very merry christmas and a happy and prosperous new year don't forget you can catch us online anytime at www.happycamperradio.com you can like us on facebook follow us on twitter at camp talker and add us to your circles on Google+. Plus. Again, don't forget you can call us anytime with your camping questions at 404-537-CAMP. If you happen to be going out of town this week, make sure you drive carefully, whether you're driving or flying in the air to get to your destination. We want you to do that safely. We'll be back with you next week for another episode of the Happy Camper Radio Show. Take care, folks, and Merry Christmas.